All right, it is a surprisingly chilly morning for October, very unseasonable, but I'm out again looking to take advantage of the speckle trout blitz that is going on this year. This should be a great day, perfect conditions. Come along with me. All right, I'm gonna be throwing a number of baits today. I'm gonna to start with one of my favorite search baits, this Bill Lewis scope stick. Hopefully can run across a nice trout. This thing seems to only catch big trout. Oh, look at the shrimp, look at the shrimp. Look at the shrimp. Bunch of mullet in here as well, but man, there's a bunch of shrimp are just popping with trout hot on their tails. All right, I'm seeing all kind of trout in here. They maybe just be small. Maybe why we're not getting bit on this big bait. So I'm gonna go with the Versamax bolt, about two and a half feet over a quarter ounce, no, I'm sorry, 16th ounce death grip jig head and a holy jolly matrix shad. My other favorite search rig. So the tide is just beginning to fall. I mean, we've got absolutely perfect conditions. Bait all around here, just incredible amount. <laughs> Haven't connected yet on a fish though. Oh, there's one. First fish of the day. Doesn't feel like a giant. Might make the team though. Might be the first team maker, let's see. No. No, he is not. Thanks for the thought, but you're not quite what I'm looking for. All right, broke the ice. Sun's just coming up. Got a light northerly wind. Temps right now, low 50s. It's supposed to get up to low 70s, so it's gonna be a beautiful day. And that's a good one, that's a good one. Ooh, that's a real good trout. That's a real good trout. Yes, that's a real good fish. Ooh, look at he's throwing up all kinds of stuff. That's a big trout, man. Settle down, boy. Yeah. Look at this guy. That might be a that might be a 19-inch fish. Let's see. I think he's over 18. He's exactly 18. I'm gonna let this fish go. All right, dude. Swim off. Appreciate the fight. Fish that size is bigger than I like to eat. No reason to keep it. Give me some 12 inches. <laughs> Those are the ones I'm gonna take home. That was the type of fish I was looking for, that scope stick. Oh, there's some birds starting to work. Oh, that's a good one. There's a good one. That's a keeper, that's a take homer. All right, that's a take homer. There we go. About a 13 incher, perfect fish to eat. Hooked well, all right. All right, there's a lot of bait here, but the birds definitely seem more interested out there. <laughs> Look at that shrimp. That poor guy. Look at that shrimp. Look. I almost kind of want to just sit and wait till you see a fish. Look at the birds. Look at the birds. There's a parade of people coming. That's not what we're after. All right, we found the fish. So let's switch to something that's gonna produce bigger fish. This has been the hottest bait of the fall. Holy Jolly Matrix Shad. Great bait in clean water and the water's been super clean this year. Ooh, hit already. Oh, there's a fish already. First cast on the Holy Jolly and it's a beautiful trout. Oh, shoot. It was a beautiful trout. It's like you don't know where to, don't even know where to throw. Oh, hit already. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, that's spot lock. Oh, that's a good trout. Goodness, that's a good trout. Wow. Man, look at that. <laughs> Another tank. It's even bigger than the other one. Look at this fish. Let go of my bait, dude. Thank you. That's a 19 inch trout for sure. That's a beautiful fish. Oh, there's one.
Then you got those monster trout in here and you got these things. <laughs> Look at that fish. Oh, that's why. Look, I took that fish's eyeball. Oh, shrimp right here. Right here. Look. <laughs> oh, there he is. That wasn't a shrimp, dude. Oh, goodness, another big trout. Not as big as some of them, but 15, 16 inches. Beautiful fish. I can take him home. Not be so nice to you, buddy. This is just the best speckled trout fishing we've had in years. Just phenomenal. Phenomenal. This falling tide is pulling these white shrimp out of the marshes. Oh! And the trout are ambushing them. Filling their bellies, getting ready for the winter. I don't know if you're going to make it. I don't know if you're going to make it. I don't think. You possibly, possibly could be 12. But we don't care. Well, I mean, threw in his mouth. Of course, he's a baby. Super spotted fish. Look at that. Get out there and grow, boy. Oh, there he is. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. This fish has not come up at all. Might be, might be pretty nice. No, he's just right in the wheelhouse. Right in the wheelhouse. 14 incher. Should call this fish dinner. Oh. Trout Amandine. Birds are thickening up. Make a few casts with the cork. See what they think of that. By the way, I'm fishing the pink Versamax bolt in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. All right, the bite's definitely slowed down. Not sure if the shrimp moved on, if the trout moved on. Just getting a bite here and a bite there. Ugh, shoot, missed him. There was a bite. That was a good fish too, I felt him. It's kind of funny getting a lot more bites and connections. <laughs> oh goodness. Indication that it's probably some small fish, but a few of them actually have felt really nice on the hook set and they just get free. A lot of lip hooks. Kind of one of those deals where you know you should just wait it out or move on. So many options today. Hate to stay on mediocre fishing, but having said that, it's certainly possible and really even likely that another school will move through and we'll have stupid action yet again. You got three boats ahead of me, all fishing. They're pulling in one here, one there. Kind of like me. Shoot, I missed him. And one of them I recognize is Captain Chris Robert, a local guide, exceptionally good angler. I've fished with him a number of times, done a bunch of stories on him over the years, done some videos with him. All right, as you can tell, it's only 1.9, two feet right here. My leader's a lot longer than that. So the beauty of the Versamax, you get to shorten it up. It's kind of a cheat code. One of the main reasons I love this cork so much. All right, good bit shorter, maybe 18 inches or so. That's definitely going to be better in this more shallow water. Oh, first cast. <laughs> but it was a swing and a miss. Another short strike. Good lord. That was a redfish. And not a small redfish. There's one. There we go. That's a keeper fish. Shorten up the leader made all the difference. All right, all right. Ooh, settle down. Good keeper trout. There's one. Are you a keeper? I don't know. I have my doubts. I have my doubts. Hmm. <laughs> No, you're not. You're not a keeper. You get to swim again. There's another one. He's got keeper potential. He might be chess worthy. Let's see. We'll know in a minute. Yeah, he's a keeper for sure. All right. All right. Oh, shorten up the leader. 
was critical. Absolutely critical. It's definitely a keeper. I think. <laughs> Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Now I'm not so sure. He was strong. Definitely not. There he is. That feels better. Yep. Oh, shoot. Of course he got off. <laughs> now my family's going to starve. There he is. It's every cast now. Fortunately, they're just not big. There he is. That's a better one. That's a better one. For sure. Much better fish. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, feels smaller than the last one, but he might make it. He's gonna make it. He's gonna make it. Oh yeah, no doubt. A no doubter. Found a hot little zone full of fish. Oh, there's another one. That's a keeper. <laughs> nice, good fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Just a wheelhouse fish, just perfect. Good eater, fun fight. Owe it all to the short and leader. If I was fishing a different cork, I would have never retied because it's such a pain in the butt. It took me 15 seconds to adjust that leader and it's made all the difference in the world. Just can't say enough about this Versamax cork. That's why I fish them. Oh, shoot. There he is. Uh, no. I don't think. Good. I'm glad you got off. I have to get slime on my hands. Oh, there we go. That's a keeper. Maybe. I think he ate my keeper. Man, you fought hard for as little as you are. That's crazy. You're going to be a champion when you grow up. There he is. That's a keeper. Yep, that's a keeper. All right, real good fish. Real healthy fish. Got two teeth. So as I said in a recent video, I like to use this cork to find fish. After I find fish, I usually switch to just a jig because generally you're going to catch bigger fish. The cork just catches everything, so you catch a lot of small fish as well. Not that you can't catch small fish on the jig, but generally they're going to hit it and miss it. But <laughs> I'm going to bite every cast, kind of hard to switch. And most of them are keepers. I am catching a throwback here or there. I'd say two keepers to one throwback, and maybe one to one. 1 1.5 to one. How about that? We'll meet in the middle. There he is, little baby. Nope, keeper. <laughs> now you are a weakling. You should be delicious because your meat's got to be nice and tender. That sounded a little gross. <laughs> there he is. One time too many. All right, just for kicks, let's see what happens when we switch to the jig. See if our size goes up. I'm getting a bite absolutely every cast with that cork. Let's see if that changes. All right, bite every cast on the cork. No connections with the jig. I'm gonna go back to the cork. Uh, 
right away. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a real good one. Yeah, that's a real good trout. It's probably a tagger and releaser. Oh, goodness. I'm going to say 17 inches. Maybe not that big. Maybe 16. Might have big eyed him a little bit. Hooked well. All right. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. It's a real good one. Man, some chunks in here. Just completely mixed fish. Just complete mix of fish. God, you were not getting off you unless you broke that line. You got 10 inches in here and you got 17, 18 inches in here. When you catch a 10 incher, then the next catch, you catch a 15 incher. It feels like a four pounder. Oh goodness. <laughs> All right, the cheat code for the day, I talked about it earlier, this is Versamax Bolt. I had my leader a little bit long, I was getting bites, wasn't really connecting, and really wasn't getting as many bites as I thought I should, considering the activity around me. So I adjusted that leader, and my bites went to literally every cast. I caught fish on literally every cast. Man, maybe one or two I didn't, but pretty much every cast, once I switched that leader length. And I just know myself, if I was fishing a different cork, I would not have taken the time to cut and retie. I wish I would, I like to say I would, but I probably would not have. But with this, it's literally, like I said, maybe 10 or 15 seconds to get that leader adjusted and it made all the difference in the world today can't tell you how much i love this why i fish this thing now the bolt is my favorite cork on calm days like today on windy days i kind of prefer more the knocker something with a little more weight a little more heft and sound to it but this thing on calm days it just man it just always delivers as i've told you it's my number one favorite search rig this time of year if i don't know exactly where fish are don't know exactly where i want to fish which most of the time i don't i could just kind of go out there looking for fish this is something i like to use to find speckled trout may switch to something else once i find them but this is my go-to for finding them all right well hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe by clicking that button right there also, here's two videos that YouTube thinks you would like. Check those out when you get a chance. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Masson. Hopefully, we catch as many speckled trout that time as well. <laughs>